10th September 2022 Morning Murshli Am Shanti Bab Dada Madhupan Sweet children come together and remove the roof of sorrow from this world of the iron age perform the charitable act of remembering the father question even though your children have the imperishable reward of knowledge instead of accumulating in their account of charity some of you finish that account why is this answer first point because they come it seems in between performing the charitable act even though they are enlightened souls they become influenced by bad company and thereby commit sin due to committing those sins their account of charity that they had previously accumulated is finished second point if after belonging to the father a soul is hurt by the vice of lust and lets go of their father's hand that soul becomes even more sinful than before such ones defame the name of the clan they experience very severe punishment because they defame the sadguru they cannot reach a high destination om shanti the spiritual father has a heart to heart conversation with your spiritual children your souls understand that only our father is the one unlimited father your children have understood this the destination is liberation and liberation in life in order to receive liberation the pilgrimage of remembrance is absolutely essential and it is absolutely essential to know the beginning the middle and the end of creation to attain liberation in life both are very easy the cycle of the world that of 84 births continues to rotate it should remain in the intellects of your children that our cycle of 84 births is now coming to an end we now have to return home no one can return home yet because all souls are sinful sinful souls cannot go into liberation or liberation in life you should have such thoughts those who do something will receive the return of that and remain happy you will also be able to take others into happiness your children have to have the mercy of showing others the path you have to explain your souls have now changed from satva pradhan to tama pradhan and this is why you are not able to return home they even call out oh purifier your children understand that it is now the most auspicious conference age some are able to remember this very well whereas others are not able to remember they repeatedly forget if you remember the confluence age your mercury of happiness remains very high when you remember the father and the teacher too your degree of happiness remains high some cause across big obstacles in between and others come across minor obstacles everyone comes across difficulties some climb up very high and then fall back down again the stage of some is very good and so they climb into baba's heart but when they fall again all their income is finished in the world outside people give so much in donations and do so much charity in order to become charitable souls however if in between performing charitable acts souls begin to perform sinful acts the became sinful souls your act of charity is to have remembrance of the father it is only by having remembrance that a soul becomes a charitable soul when you forget the father and become influenced by someone's company then by committing a lot of sin whatever charity you have performed is finished supposing someone gives a donation or perform charity today and opens a center but turns away tomorrow he would then fall even lower than he was before because of committing sin therefore instead of the account of accumulating it is wiped out previously they did very good service don't even ask however later they fail right down they even get married 
and became even worse than they were before. Once the sin is committed, the burden of that sin continues to increase. There is an account of profit and loss. However, those who want to understand these things will understand. There are light scenes and there are also very heavy scenes. The worst scene of all is lost. Anger is second and the great than, than that. An attachment is lost again. They are all number wise. By being defeated by lust, instead of experiencing profit, souls go into loss because they defend the Sadhguru. Such souls cannot reach their destination. They climb down from the Baba's heart. They belong to the Father and then they leave the Father. It also depends on their actions. What is the reason for their leaving? Because they weren't able to follow. Mostly, it is loss that hits them the hardest. That is the main enemy. Have you ever heard of an FG of an angry person being born? No, the FG is created of one who is lustful. It is Ravan. The father says, by conquering lust, you will become the conquerors of the world. You have been completely defeated. So instead of being victorious, you are defeated. They call out to the father, Oh, purifier, come. It is because of loss that people suffer a great deal. And then they say, Baba, I have made my face dirty. Baba says you have become someone who defends the clan. This would not be said because of anger or attachment. Everything depends on lust. They call out, Oh, purifier, come. The father has come, and yet souls continue to become impure. And so, what can the father say? Everyone, sages, holy men, etc., call out, Oh, purifier, come. But no one understands the meaning of that. Yes, some actually believe that God will come and establish the new world. However, because they have given the cycle a very long duration, they have fallen into immense darkness. There is knowledge and ignorance. The father explains that those on the path of devotion don't even know the one they worship. And so, what use is such devotion? Because they don't understand whatever they do is fruitless, means unsuccessful. People think that fruit is received by making donations and performing charity. But that only happens for a temporary period. Temporary happiness, like the droppings of a crow, is received. Sannyasis too say that whatever happiness is received in this world, it is like the droppings of a crow, and that on the rest is sorrow, nothing but sorrow. The father says, remember me alone, and all your sorrow will be removed. Just think, how much do I remember Baba, so that the old karmic accounts can be settled, and new ones accumulated. However, much someone accumulates it is not a question in terms of money, etc. Here, it is a question of removing sins. The main aspect is that of becoming pure. Don't think that by your writing to Baba about it, the sins of many births will be settled. There is a great burden of sins of many births. They will not all be cut away. But yes, the burden of those that have been committed and thus birth can be lightened. However, you do have to make a great deal of effort. The more you stay in remembrance, the more the burden of sin will be lightened. Some children make a lot of effort. They show the path to hundreds and thousands of people. They explain the cycle of 84 births. You know what the account of the different births is. Just think, how much yoga power do I have and when will I take birth? Will it be at the beginning of the golden age? Those who make a lot of effort will take birth at the beginning of the golden age. Those souls will not remain hidden. Don't think that all of you will go to the golden age. Some will come at the end and claim a little something. Those who earn a great deal of income are the ones who come earlier. Those who earn less income come later on. 
and this is why you have to remember the father a great deal it is very easy those who remember baba very well experience a great deal of happiness knowing that they will very soon go to the new world if you want to become a king you have to create subjects if you don't create subjects how would you become a king some open a center and earn a lot of income through that when there is benefit they even open two or three centers baba also continues to open centers the account of those who do something is created you have to come together to remove the roof of sorrow you all put your shoulders together and so you all receive your share to the extent you make effort to that extent you claim a high status you will also experience a great deal of happiness it is seen how many have been uplifted some continue to do very good service mama became the example of doing very good service and she therefore experienced a great deal of benefit the main thing is to do service yoga is also service you continue to receive directions on how to stay in remembrance baba has also explained the significance of the point and as time goes by he will continue to explain more day by day progress will take place new points will continue to emerge it is not very difficult but then it is not very easy either those who remain on service catch the points very quickly nothing sits in the intellects of those who don't remain busy doing service they continue to say bendi bendi means point but how do you remember the point how can a point be seen it is very easy you don't have to remember baba by keeping a point in front of you this is something that has to be understood a soul at such a tiny point no one else can tell you the name form land or time of a soul they ask what god's name form land and time period are senseless human beings neither understand about souls not the supreme soul here too there are some who don't understand fully they continue to say baba baba they neither study knowledge nor do they do any service they just continue to eat sanyasis also have such a followers who don't do anything but keep eating at least they have become renunciates and freed themselves from vice that is not a small thing baba explains that you were pure and that you have now become impure you are the ones who have been around the cycle of 84 births people are unable to understand these things devotion is completely separate from knowledge there is the difference of day and night you know that you have to make effort and become like lakshmi and narayan and so you have to follow shrimat completely this requires effort however that sickness etc will continue to come signs of it will remain until the end of and it will then disappear and no sorrow will remain at all the father is known as the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness they say o oh, liberator have mercy on us so that we became liberated from all sorrow it is at times of sorrow that human beings remember god at a time of sorrow everyone calls out oh god oh ram they remember god but who is god no one understands this they simply say remember god the father or remember khuda means god you understand very well that he is our father the father is the one who teaches us consider yourselves to be souls and remember me on the path of devotion it isn't said consider yourselves to be souls and remember the father no there are so many different varieties of devotion but there is only one knowledge people think that they will meet god after performing devotion when does devotion begin and who does the most devotion no one knows this 
would be still continue to perform devotion for 40,000 years? For how long would devotion continue? You now understand for what length of time devotion continues and for what length of time knowledge continues. Devotees don't know these things. You hold so many exhibitions in order to explain to them. Only a handful out of multi-millions emerge from the exhibitions. As time goes by, more will emerge. Countless people come here. There are very few of you, true Brahmins, who remain pure. And only those who are regular should come here. However, we cannot make an accurate account of how many true Brahmins there are because there are also false ones. The task of a Brahmin means priest is to relate stories. Baba also continues to relate stories. You too have to relate stories. As is the father, so the children. The duty of your children is to relate the Gita. But not everyone does this. You know that the book of knowledge is just the one Gita. It is the dwell of all the scriptures. Everything is included in that. The Gita is the mother and father. The father is the one who comes and grants salvation to all. You can also write that the birth of Sri Baba is like a diamond and that the birth of everyone else is as worthless as a shell. Everyone remembers the father. Iron Age human beings worship Golden Age deities. Who made them like that? Only the one father. However, only those who understand this very well will be able to explain to others. No one explains systematically. Baba says, instead of construction, many of my children cause destruction. There are some who are Maharatis, some who are the cavalry, and some who are the infantry. What will those who are the infantry do? They will have to bow down and work for those who have studied. What would you call those who neither bow down in front of others, nor study or teach others? Ostrich. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada. The spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point, the father is a point. Understand this accurately and remember the father. Don't become confused and just say Bindi, Bindi means point. Remain engaged in doing service. Second point, listen to the true Gita and relate it to others. In order to become true Brahmins, remain pure and definitely study regularly. Blessing May you have the fortune of happiness and be carefree by constantly eating the nourishment of happiness and sharing it with others. Explanation The nourishment of Brahmin life is happiness. Those who constantly eat the nourishment of happiness and share it with others have the fortune of happiness. It constantly emerges from their hearts. No one else is as fortunate as I am. Even if ocean waves comes to drown you, you would not be worried because those who are yogyukta are always safe. Therefore, it is at this time of the whole cycle that you experience a carefree life. You will also be carefree in the golden age but you won't have this knowledge there slogan in order to be an easy effort maker fill yourself with everyone's blessings om shanti